can you tell me uh, from like uh, in in so to date function is used to convert a string into date whenever i am writing a string i always mean where care or care or where care to mm -hmm. so uh, when we think about date uh, let's say what is the date today 3rd of february 2017 what is the time right now in india it is 9:19 pm okay over here mm -hmm. so over there might be half an hour more than this it might be 9:40 yeah 9 9:49 okay we don't think about that in what format it is going to be hello can you hear me yeah it's lift low uh, now it's fine yeah okay so if i write 3rd of february like this is it okay to you or i can write it like this also or i can just go ahead and write it like this or i can write it like this also i can write it in this format also mm -hmm. one moment means somebody is knocking at my door so let's talk about main component of date since a date as we have seen that it can be represented in many formats let's have main component of date first is day second is month third is year then we have hour of that particular day yeah. minute second. and second when i am saying that it is 924 here can i write it like this also yeah mm -hmm. in 24 <laughs> hour format i can do that yeah mm -hmm. so this is in 12 hour format and this is in 24 hour format yeah so mirza when i am uh, saying to oracle that fetch me something which is equal to 03022007 by default oracle is going to assume that it is a string if it is specified like this this is what is written what if i will create a i'm naming this column as a i'm creating a table called temp121 and i'm only selecting this value from dual now let's have a look at table 1 to 1 it is character and it is not date date yes by default we assume that it is going to be date but it is character mm -hmm. so we have to explicitly tell oracle that the uh, that the value that i am specifying is not character it is date how can we do that using to date function to date function okay 
so we have seen this format this is yy dash mm yy dash mm dash correct yeah this is mmdd y y y y this is mm dd y y y y like that mm -hmm. tell me the format of this one this one is a <coughs> dd mm y y y <coughs> and look at the above and tell me this this is dd D. month month why 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 yeah this one is dd mm why 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 this one is mm slash dd slash the American format <laughs> okay so let me drop this table now I will explicitly specify that in which format I want to specify it I will use to date function like this and I will specify here that 03 is my day 02 is my month and 2017 is my year yeah okay now let's create this table now let's see what is there in this table you see now it is specified in date format now let's have a look at data it is showing me 2 slash 3 slash 2017 mm -hmm. so it is behaving like a bad kid we taught this kid something else and it is showing us something else is that what is happening <laughs> yeah no it is not it is behaving no. very properly we are no, learning we are because... learning yeah because it is a date it is stored as a date in Oracle itself and it is displaying whatever I specified while installing Oracle my default date format so this is my default date format ddmmyyyyy okay. sorry <coughs> by, uh, mmddyyyy mm -hmm. so this value and this value both are same I want you to understand this whenever I'm, I'm specifying a date I, I don't need to specify that in what format I want my date to be because it will pick the format whatever is there in the database when I'm saying 3rd of February 2017 it might be in multiple formats now let's try insert data in some other format insert into temp underscore one to one values okay mm -hmm. let's insert this value done let's have a look at our table perfect now let's try something else let's specify 4th of February 2017 will we be able to see this date in our table the answer is yes why not <coughs> okay 
Okay. No, okay, but my question was actually, Upam, <coughs> you were uh, ra uh, inserting like a 0 0.4 dash, 0 0.2 dash, like a, uh, you know, or hyphen 2017, but whenever you see the data, like a, it's showing like, you know, slash. Yes, that's what the concept I mentioned to you. So in Oracle, it is always storing that value as date. Now Oracle has uh, a default date format that I have specified while installing Oracle. Okay, okay, I got it, okay. So this is how <laughs> I can do it using two care function. Okay. I'm not sure about this one. This one will be like to care. Okay, so now all those strings that we wrote earlier are converted into dates. I have a question like you, wh why you write to uh, to care the last one? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean to write the to date. Yeah, okay. So to care whenever we have our data in date format mm -hmm. and our system requires it to be entered in a specified format. Let's say there is a requirement in some table that we need to uh, enter the data in YYYY MMDD format. Okay. But but you query on your Oracle table and you found out that your data is specified in this format. Yeah. So what you can do, you can use to care function and you can convert that date into your desired format like this. Okay. okay. This is one example. Um, one minute please. Sure. Let's suppose I have a date variable holding some, okay, uh, holding some date. Tell me I'm so, sorry t uh, for the recording. Like, tell me your requirement one more time, please. Okay. So the question is, the interviewer is going to give you any date. And he's going to ask you to return nth day of that month. Let's say he wants you to return fifth day of the month of a specified date. So this date is 12th of July 1992. So the answer he he's expecting is 5th of July of 1992 and in YYYY MMDD format so it will be it will look like this 1992 MM will be 07 and the date will be fifth day of that month so this is what he is expecting in his answer okay so can you try achieving that do you want to try it on your own or should I uh, um, yeah I can try I can, I can uh, try Let, let's see next Okay, go ahead, give it a try. You are not supposed to play with this. You have to keep this input as it is. Yes. Do it. Just copy and paste it, it is on your clipboard. So 
right now, okay, the rest of, um, I think uh, you can do it because how you will return, okay, to care. Sure. So, Mirza, I am happy that you were able to convert it into date after all. So, now I will turn it into a string. To care. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. And I am just interested in getting the month and year out of it. The day is immaterial. I am anyways interested in fifth day of that month. Uh -huh. So I just need this information. Correct? I just need this information. M M Y Y Y Y. Okay. So if I want to return first day of any month, it will be it will always be zero one. Correct? Uh -huh. Yes. So this is what I got. Uh -huh. Now I want to convert it to date again. And I know the format is MMYYYY. That's what I got. So now I reached 1st of July. Now I'm interested in getting 5th, 5th day of that, that month. So I'll just add 5 to it. Or 4 to it to get the 5th day of that month. Now I, I want to see my output like this. In YYYYY MMDD format. So I'll convert it to character again. Converting it to character again. The format that I need is YYYY MMDD. There I go. Clear? Okay. So if you know the basic concepts, it is easy for you. Okay, right now it makes sense actually. Yeah, if you, if you would have seen this query before learning to date and do care, <laughs> this query might have given you a headache. Yeah.